Bum -ba -da -dum. Howdy, welcome to BanjoBenClark.com, your favorite place to learn how to play banjo, guitar, and mandolin. You know, this whole thing started with YouTube uh, almost a decade ago. It's crazy to think it's been that long. But I used to put up videos that I record with a really sorry camera from my computer. Um, but one of those first ones that I put up was uh, a mandolin version of Blackberry Blossom. And I've gotten lots of requests to redo some of those old lessons. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to redo the advanced version um, that you just heard, but I'm also adding on the site an intermediate version, which is where we learned kind of the basic melody for Blackberry Blossom, which in itself is kind of an intermediate thing. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, here in a moment, I'll ask you to come over to the website. If you go over there and you become a Gold Pick member, here's what happens. You get access to hundreds of videos, including these two lessons. But you also have access to all the tabs and MP3. So I have tabs for both of these versions, um, as well as three different speeds of rhythm MP3 tracks that you can download and practice along with. And you not only get it for this lesson, but you get them for hundreds of others. And I do this each and every week. So come over there and check it out. I'd be honored if you would. Now let's jump into the intermediate version of Blackberry Blossom. And then um, there on the side, I'll, I have the redone advanced version as well. Let's learn an intermediate version to this great old fiddle tune. It's in the key of G. I also teach an advanced version here on the site where I remade actually my old Blackberry Blossom lesson that I had on YouTube way back in 2008. I call this version an intermediate version just because even though that's the basic melody to Blackberry Blossom, it's still more of an intermediate type thing to play. Let's go ahead and throw this first line of tab up. Um, first thing I want you to notice beneath each one of those notes, we have our pick stroke direction arrow. So a down arrow would be a down stroke and up arrow would be an up stroke. Okay. Now this is a typical fiddle tune. It has a typical structure where we have two A parts that are eight bars a piece and then two B parts that are eight bars a piece. So that's four total sections making 32 total bars or measures. Now what a lot of people will do is play the exact same thing for the first and second A parts, just repeat it. That's fine, but I like to give you, as you know, some variants so that my first A part and second A part are a little different and the same for the Bs. And that, that just that gives you a little bit more ammo whenever you go out to, uh, to play this tune. Now the first time we're gonna go through this A part, I'm going to climb with the melody. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so it's climbing up each time. Climb up. The second time we go through the A part, I'm going to fall down. I'm gonna start with the same melody note, but then just reverse the pattern. Okay, so that, that way it gives a, a nice audible counterpoint uh, for folks to, to listen to. Now, we've got a lot of chord changes in this song. Okay, and so th that intimidates people sometimes. What we need to realize is that we're going to stay within the G chord um, for, for most all the chord changes. And so what makes that sound for whenever you change the chords, what makes it sound good is really kind of your starting note for each one. So a lot of times we'll, we'll start a lick in, in one of the notes of the chord that we're over. Um, and that, that has an exception when we go to the A chord, and we'll talk about that. But let's walk up in the first measure. Five on the A string, open E, second fret. We're gonna get a little bit of pinky workout, but we're gonna start measure two with three, five, seven, three. And I want you to play that with your last three fingers. Now the same pattern, just starting now on the second fret. Two, three, five, two. And see that starting note there, is an F sharp, which is in a D chord, and that's what chord we're on. Now measure three, we're over a C chord, so we're going to an E note, which is one of the notes in a C chord, but we're still following the G scale. And then the second half of measure three, we're just gonna walk down five, two, open, five. Now measure four, we're gonna repeat the C lick, except it's gonna be a measure lower. It starts on the E note as well, two, four, five, two, now we're going to climb back up, open, two, five, two. So let me play measures one through four slowly and then just remember that I have a video on the site where I play it much slower than this. Okay, now if 
that wasn't slow enough for you, remember, I had that other video where we go twice that slow. Okay, measure five, now we've got an A chord. And so here we're going to get outside of the, of the G major scale, and we're going to uh, make it very apparent that we're playing over an A chord. We're going to start on the A string and walk right up the A scale, open to four, jump up and grab the E string, and we have two quarter notes here that are both in a D chord. Five, two. So measure five sounds like this. Now we have some repeating going on. So in measure six, we're going to measure six and seven look exactly like two and three. Seen all that before. And then measure eight is almost identical to measure four. The very last note's a little different, measure eight. We're just gonna play an open A string. So let me play measures five through eight for you slowly. Now we're about to wrap up this first A part. When we get to measure nine, that's the last measure in our first A part. And we're gonna do two, five, open, Five. And then another five on the A string at the on the very last beat of measure nine. Now we're going in measure 10, we're going to go into the second A part. Um, so we could go back to at this point, we could go back to measure two and repeat what we just learned and then go into the B parts. But I'm going to give you a, a little different version here. We're going to start back on our same melody note that we did in measure two. But this time, instead of climbing, we're going to do it backwards. Hear the difference? Here's the first way. Here's the second way. So we're going to do everything backwards, these first three licks anyway. Two, five, three, two. Measure 11, start with the E string, then three, two, open. And then the second part of measure 11 is just like we walked down before. In measure 12, it's the same notes, we're just doing them backwards. So here we're going two, five, four, two, where before we did two, four, five, two, okay? And then walk back up. Let me play nine through 12 for you. Measure 13 is almost exactly the same as measure five. We're gonna do that A lick again. And this time we're not gonna play quarter notes, we're just gonna walk up the D scale. In measure 14, we got some more repeating going on. So measure 14 is just like measure 10. Measure 15 is just like measure 11. So when we get to measure 17, we've just got this simple lick. And then we're going to get ready to go into the first B part. Let's check out the B part now, and if you feel up to it, you can try the advanced version after that.